Congressman Jimmy Panetta from California. Congressman Panetta, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. It's great to be here at the 2024 Democratic National Convention, let me tell you. How are you enjoying the convention? This is the fourth day. There's been like a crescendo of, of energies. How are you feeling the, the, the ambience today? And that's exactly it. You're definitely feeling a amount of energy that you really haven't experienced, especially recently. But once we knew that Kamala Harris was our nominee and is going to be the next president of the United States, you can kind of walk on the energy. As the best analogy that I've heard is someone basically opened up the windows and this huge amount of fresh air just came in. And it's about, it's a fresh air, a wind that we're gonna be riding all the way through November. You can sense it tonight and you're gonna sense it going forward as well. And Congressman, do you feel that wave will also be felt down the ballot in Senate races and Congress races? Uh, you're, you're seeing it right now, hands down. Uh, in members that I've talked to in those tough purple districts, to be frank, they were worried. Uh, and I think you understood that when uh, basically you saw uh, President Joe Biden uh, make the right decision and step down, you not only felt it pres at the presidential level, you felt it at the congressional level, you felt it at the Senate level. So you're going to see the down ballot races pick up a lot of momentum, especially these next couple of days, uh, what, 70 days, 70, 75 days right now. So we're feeling pretty confident. But look, as they've been saying throughout this convention, and as we know, you can never count your chickens before they're hatched. We cannot take anything for granted. As happy and the momentum that we're going to ride after tonight, we got to make sure we ride it all the way through the finish line. As Coach Wall said, you, you, you got to go through the finish line. You got to go through the ticker tape. You got to play all the way till the, till the very end and then some. And that's basically the attitude that I believe Democrats are going to have going into it. We've learned our lesson from 2016, especially now against this, the ex-president. We got to realize we can't underestimate him. We can't underestimate his voters. So we got to make sure we get our voters out there. We got to make sure we get independence out there. And that's been the theme throughout this convention is do something. Not just vote, but get people signed up to vote. Get people registered, get them ready to vote, and what's their plan to vote. And that's how we're going to win. And Congressman, you mentioned something very critical in this election, independent voters. Tonight we're going to hear from uh, candidate Harris. What do you expect to hear from her policy-wise that would move the needle for independence? Yeah, I think what you're going to see is a, a good conversation, obviously politically. She's going to hit the political points. But policy-wise, she's going to continue to talk about what's necessary on the domestic front. The earned income tax credit, the child tax credit, making sure there's affordable housing. Housing. And then you're going to hopefully she'll uh, talk about uh, foreign policy and that we're going to continue to support our partners in Ukraine and make sure that we continue to be the world leader because we want an order in, in the world. And so uh, I believe basically, you know, she's going to hit the right points, obviously political, continue to ride the momentum. But she does have to provide some serious policy points going forward, not just tonight, but going forward as well, because I think that's what independent people want to hear. They do want to show that she's tough on the border, which I think she's going to uh, be talk about, but then she's also going to talk about um, the inflation, how people are feeling about the prices, and what steps, as she has been doing, but what steps we're going to continue to take going forward so that we can reduce inflation. Not, even though it's coming down, we got to make sure people are feeling it at the stores. And so that's what she's tried to hit on with her recent policy speeches, and hopefully she'll be doing this tonight. But you're, what you're going to see is obviously a ride of the political wave, but she's got to start working in the policies that are going to affect people's kitchen table issues. And I think we're going to start talking about that tonight.